Hi Flosstube, I'm Jane and I'm Amelia and we're here to talk to you about our January cross stitching and crafting. Uh, today is Sunday the 31st. 31st of January, so last day of January. Um, it is hot in Sydney today. Um, so yeah, we, I probably never really say this at the start of my video, so I probably should start doing it. This is a cross stitch, uh, a floss tube about cross stitch. And um, Amelia also does some different types of craft activities. So sometimes she'll show um, what she's been doing as well. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching and we hope you enjoy. So we'll kick off today with um, my most recent finish. Um, which is, do you want to hold up the pattern? Um, Jane Fittis by Hands Across the Sea Samplers. So I started this back in July of 2020 um, and I finished it, I think I finished it on the 31st of December, so I was close to a finish in my last video. So, we have remembered the cardboard today. <laughs> yes, that's been like, oh wow, two pieces of cardboard. Oh, wow, two. Look at that. Three. <laughs> so, the cardboard's not big enough for the whole piece, but anyway, this is it. So, this so far is my favourite cross stitch that I've done. That's a pretty close representation of the colour of the fabric. So I've stitched this on 36 count weeks straw and it's not the Zweigart, it's the old weeks. I had no problem with it. Um, love the colour, it's very um, golden I guess you'd say. Um, and I did make a lot of changes to the pattern in terms of all the letters. So I changed every letter to represent my family tree. So on this row, I have done my husband, myself, Ethan and Amelia. On this row, I have done Matt's parents and my parents. And then down here, Matt's grandparents and my grandparents. And then scattered throughout the main piece, um, are our brothers and sisters letters. Then down the very bottom, could you just point it out Millie because um, around there? Yeah, so it's got Jane Fittis 1835 and then on the other side I did Jane Curry 2020 and in the middle I did SC0, uh, SCO um, because it's thought that Jane Fittis was from Scotland and then I did AUS because I'm from Australia. So just those were the changes I made. Um, but otherwise everything else is the same. I stitched mine in DMC and um, yeah, I'm really happy with it. I can't wait to get it framed. I don't quite know how I want it framed. So that's why I haven't done anything just yet. Um, I'll probably go in a few weeks after I've had a bit of a think about what I want. Um, so yeah, I don't think last time, I can't remember now, I should have watched my video. I don't think I had done the turkey work. Um, or if I had, I might have started, started it, but I hadn't sort of cut it and done both sides. So that's... You mean the grass? No, yeah. No. You only did this side. You didn't yeah, do that I think side. you're right. I think I. You only did one side, and you said I have to do this bit. Yeah. So now that's finished. That was. I was really nervous about doing that, but it was actually really easy, and I really like how it looks and feels. And. Um, you like it. Yeah, I love it. And you know, there was a lot of specialty stitches in this pattern, um, but I really liked all of them. The 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 stitch that I hated the most was the one over one. So. You know, I think there were six different specialty stitches and um, I just think it's funny that the one that I found the most difficult is the over one, which is in a lot of cross stitch patterns anyway. So there it is again. Um, maybe next time I'll have it framed. Probably not. Um, but 
yeah, really happy with with that one and so glad um, it's finished. Can't wait to get it up on my wall. Sorry, um, there's the manuals, which wall? I don't know. Um, I want to do, which I think I've mentioned before, a whole bunch of samplers by girls named Jane. So maybe I should have a, you know, just wait till I do a few more of the Jane ones. and Maybe just buy an entire new part of it and put it in the house and then there we go. No more just in the lounge room so you can watch his TV. Okay, so what else have I been doing? Well, I'll start with uh, this one, which was my January 1st start. Um, just got to get it set up properly. Sorry, I'm a bit, a little bit disorganized today. Um, you use that app? Yes, so this, this pattern I've done using, um, it's a hands across the sea pattern again, but I've just done the PDF download, um, which is great. So I just use my iPad. Um, oh, probably better to do it that way. So you can say what it is and I'll get ready to hold it up. Jane Hardy, 1840. Oh my God, this one's in the way. Yeah, maybe tilt it and it'll... There, that's good. Okay, so this is another Jane sampler. Um, do we turn off the iPad or do I just... Yeah, turn it off. And here, so I started this on the 1st of January. This was my new year, new start. It's very crinkled because I have an iron, as per usual. Um, and that's where I'm at. So, almost halfway through. Um, I'll just bring it in a bit closer there. Um, I think the halfway point is right here. So I've just got uh, two more of these flowers here and just a little bit more grass. And then I'm halfway, halfway grass through. Dry. It is dry grass. And I did consider changing the color because it's quite a yellow green, isn't it? Like mm. a gold green. Um, and I did think about making it a more maybe lime green like a bit more brighter green but in the end I decided I really quite liked it with the other colors on here and the orange up here it's not really showing up great but this orange I love it it's a really nice bright orange and you don't see a lot of orange in old samplers I don't think so um, there's an orange cat or a dog or whatever that is what do you think it is it's a dog it's a dog? Okay. And there's a purple one too. <laughs> no, that's a reindeer. So. Oh, you think that's a reindeer? I think it's like a type of deer. Okay. If you were to look at it yourself, then you would think it was a deer as well. Very cool. That's interesting, isn't it? Um, I really love stitching on this. It's, um, it's quite easy. I mean, through it takes a while because this is all full coverage, except for the windows are not filled in. But the rest of the house is full coverage and obviously the grass is all full coverage so but i think because it's large simple blocks of stitching it goes quite quickly so you know if um i have worked on this pretty solidly throughout january so um you know if i were to do that again in february then i'd probably get a finish but um tomorrow it's february Yes, I know, but I'll probably stitch on other things in between. So I'm not expecting to get it finished just yet, but um, really enjoying stitching this. This is on 36 Count Legacy by Picture This Plus. Don't you always use that one? I love this one. Um, it's one of my favourites um, because it's got some different mottling of colour throughout, but so it sort of looks old. Um, and it's nice to stitch on. And I'm stitching in the called for DMCs with this as well. So... This is a DMC one? Yep. It's pretty nice, isn't it? Yeah. So that's that one, Jane Hardy. Look, they look like these. Oh, and look at the four. Can you point out the four in 1840? Right there. It's back to front, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> but you know how it looks like when we watch the videos? It looks like I'm there. Yeah, so it looks correct when we hold it up in the video, but when you look at it like this, yeah, which is what you guys will see, it's um, it's not. It's good. It's back to front. So I don't know how old 
um, Jane was when she stitched this, but she must have been quite young because she hadn't quite mastered her fours. fours. Alrighty, so then I said also that last video that I was going to set aside Monday stitching to work on my old whips that don't get much attention because for whatever reason I don't, don't like them. Yeah, I don't enjoy working on them, but I still love them and I still want to get them finished. So um, the one that I've been focused on in January has been the good old Christmas tablecloth that seems to be taking forever and it shouldn't. So what did I do this month, Amelia? I don't know. I you don't know. You stitch. I wasn't. Well, I was supposed to finish this Santa, which I didn't, as you can see. So he's just got a tiny, well, actually, I think I stitched his face and he's got a tiny little bit of white for the top of his Santa hat here that needs to be stitched. And yeah, then you haven't stitched that bit? No, and then I've just got to outline. You've started outlining. Yeah, I've outlined him, but I haven't sort of done from here and his face. So that won't take long. That's probably half an hour's stitching there. Not very long at all. Half an hour to just... Yep. And then I had to do this side. So I had to outline this centre, which I've done. So I did him. And then I had to do all of this. So I had to stitch the reindeer. I had done a little bit of the reindeer, but now... I've almost finished stitching him. He needs a tail and he needs some candles up here that go in his antlers. Wait, he has candles in his antlers? Yep. On, um, where's one I can shoot? Like here. See that? Oh yes, they have the wind sticks coming out. Yeah, so I've got to do that and then outline all of him. And then I had to do these motifs, the presents and those, which I've obviously finished, all of those. So really, I've just got to finish this reindeer with his tail and his antlers and his Santa outline. And Santa. And then the other Santa, and then it's done. So tomorrow's Monday, so maybe I will get a finish. Do you want to hold? I don't know whether we'll be able to fit the whole thing in, but. It, can we move it back a bit? Oh yeah, no, that works. That's it. Um, so I really love it. I think it looks great. Hey, if you do get it finished like um, around March or something. Yeah. Wait. Okay, right month. Um, maybe we could use it even though it's not Christmas. <laughs> For Easter? <Yeah. laughs> oh dear. So yeah, it's, I think it looks great. It's, it's just the fabric is very, very loose um, to stitch on and no matter what I do, I can't get good tension. So I stitch normally in a, either a hoop or a Q-snap. And I'm just finding it just, it's so loose. And I think that's partly why I don't enjoy stitching on it because I like mine quite tight when I'm stitching. But I'm almost there. So that'll hopefully next month, I'll have a finish for you on that. A month. Yep. Well, I, I think I can finish it tomorrow, but they I won't. I don't think so. Our viewers won't see it until our our next video. Couldn't we just uh, just you put a picture on it and Maybe. post it on Instagram? I'll probably do that as well. Okay, the next piece I worked on, because what I thought I would do in January was every Monday work on the tablecloth and then for a week at a time just work on my different projects that I've got. So um, I did some stitching on this one, but I only did a couple of days. Oh Joyous Day by Blackbird Designs. Okay, so. Another really beautiful piece. Um, gorgeous colours in this one. And Amelia, what do you think I'm stitching this on? <laughs> Legacy? Yeah! My this class. Very good, but this time it's 40 count. Oh, okay. Um, so same thing. So yeah, Except gorgeous fabric counts. and gorgeous colours. So what did I do this month? I didn't do very much. So I sort of did some more on this flower here. It's not finished. And I think, you know, I started doing a bit of the satin stitch down the bottom. And I think I did it 
maybe that line going across so just a little bit here and there I do like working on this um, but what happened was when we we had a holiday and Which so I took um, I only took one cross stitch with me which was Jane Hardy, Hardy 1840 <laughs> and um, I where we were staying um, the, the lighting wasn't very good and so um, I had taken my I've got like magnifying glasses for when I'm doing over one stitching Which ones? Like the hand ones or glasses? Glasses so I was using them while I was away and so that way it was good because the lighting was quite terrible so um, I was just able to use my glasses but what I found is that when I got back home I was only away for a week when I got back home and I was back in my normal stitchy spot and I've got my great overhead light and you have your couch <laughs> and I have my couch um, I couldn't I couldn't see properly I couldn't see the holes and because um, normally I don't need magnification so then I was like you're joking one week and I'm having to wear glasses like so and because when I came back I started stitching on this one which was the 40 count so what I did was I stitched for a couple of days and went this is really bad I'm having to wear my glasses the whole time while I'm stitching so I put it away and I got Jane Hardy back out and I just tried to stitch on her without the glasses and after a couple of days my eyes had readjusted and I was back to normal so I'm sure I'll be able to re revisit um, this one again and glasses are made to be used you know I know but I think it was just you know my eyes had gotten a little bit lazy and so then you would have to wear glasses to work yeah maybe it's I should get bad. my eyes tested who knows um you can come with me next time yes so anyway I will pull out my 40 count again this month and see how I go if I need to wear the magnifiers I don't really mind but I just thought it was strange that I've never had a problem and suddenly oh actually I need this I was having a problem okay so last time we showed you this one this was my Christmas Day start and so why do I only put one in there why not put all of them in there? because not all of them um, oh, some paper? of them are in books and stuff like that oh, oh, this yeah. one was paper so this was my Christmas Day star which I had shown last time so I'll just give an update on where I'm up to what's this one called Millie all creatures great and small this is by Barbara Anna designs it's a gorgeous gorgeous pattern and one that I've had for at least two years yeah I think maybe three or four years I've had it in my pile and just hadn't started it so here's where I'm up to actually I'll get hold this up behind it I haven't taken it out because I uh, pulled this back out last night and started doing a little bit on it so I can't quite remember where I was um, last time you saw it but I'm pretty sure I yeah. finished the barn and I had all of this would be new and this is definitely new. Why is there a bald baby in there? I don't know. It's kind of, he's funny, isn't he? She's talking about this little guy down here. Bald. None of them have lips. No. Sometimes there's outline that might come in at the very end um, to give them lips. This is a lot of fun to stitch on. Um, and, you know, it's, it's kind of satisfying because you could just, in one night just do like one little motif and um, you know it's it just chip away at it like that makes it quite easy to do um, I'm stitching this on a 36 count fabric but I don't know the name of it I got this at a retreat um, and I just liked the color and I like the mottle in but I never really thought about what I might stitch it on last year's last year yeah yeah <laughs> So I really like how it looks on this fabric. I think it's going to look great when it's finished. Um, but yeah, so just a, just a small bit of progress on this one for the month. Okay, and then my last one that I've got to show you. Do you want me to go find it? Oh, I think it's on the bottom of that pile. I will go find it. Um, 
which was quite a random new start that I wasn't planning on, but it happened. Um, and it's out of this book. Um, I got this book on eBay last year for maybe $10. Um, this one? Yes, thank you, Millie. And in it is this cross stitch here, which is called um, Kitty Bits. And I love it. Oh, I shouldn't really show the pattern. Um, but when you pull the colours for it, it's very, um, like a lot of yellow, like really bright yellows and stuff. Not, it doesn't really look like this. Whereas I quite like how this looks very sort of muted and sort of brownish with a bit of grey blue in there. Um, so I'm not using the cord for colours. Sometimes I am, if I think the colour looks nice. But... Like these trees, for example, are, are all yellows and I didn't want a yellow tree, so I've changed it. To brown, right? Well, the leaves I'm talking about. Yeah. So, um, and I'm also thinking of changing the verse here um, to a poem that I like. Um, so anyway, we'll show you where I'm up to. You can hold this one up and I'll just put that behind it. But it's on the pinch now. Yeah, that's okay. Um, so that's where I'm up to. So I'm starting down in the bottom and we'll work up. up. Okay. Um, so as you can see, like I've, I've just made the leaves of the tree green, not yellow. Um, and the bird, I think he, I, don't, I can't remember what colours he was, but I've kind of done some browns and pinks in the bird. Um, I am going to keep the house the brownish colour. Um, I'm using Garden Gate on the fence. Um, and yeah, so I'm just kind of making it up and taking notes as I go along because the pattern repeats on the other side. So it's pretty symmetrical. So whatever, I, whatever colours I'm using here, I need to make note of so I can use the same over there. There's actually five different colours in the tree. Um, but I'm not sure I'm actually going to do five. I think I've used three so far, so I'll probably just um, keep it at three and just mix it up how how I stitch it because I quite like those and I don't really want to keep introducing different shades of green. Um, I think that that's enough. It looks quite nice as it is. Um, so, yeah, I'm hoping um, to maybe get a little bit more done on that this month it's slow going because um, sometimes you'll put a color on the fabric and it looks quite nice but then when you stitch it it doesn't quite come out the way you thought so then I pull it back out and try a different color so it's taking a long time once I've got the colors selected I think it'll start going a bit quicker um, I'm stitching this on 40 count confederate gray by weeks um, yeah and it's a great looking um, sampler colour I think I'm really excited I've not used it before and um, keen to probably use it on some more samplers it's a really lovely fabric um, to stitch on so that is all my stitching now we've just got to show you my purchases so for Christmas I had received um, a voucher from the Cruel Goblin in Sydney and also some money so I went there um, after we came back from our holiday and I yeah so you can say what this is so I brought some fabric the fabric is called fox and rabbit the color is Eureka the size is one a quarter yard yes and it is 36 count very good so um, It'll be just a really nice sampler, sampler fabric, I think. It's um, just a lovely colour. Don't quite know what I'll use on it yet. Thank you, Millie. I'll put it away and you can get the next, next one out and start talking about that. Yes. Yes. It's a book called Winds of Autumn. 
Who's it by? By Blackbird Designs. As soon as I saw this on Instagram as having come out, I thought, oh my gosh, I've got to get it. And the main reason I wanted it was for... Oh, I forgot how smelly it smells. <laughs> Amelia thinks this book smells. I wanted it for this. No, I'm not. I'm just going to do that. I love it. And I've wanted this for ages. And I think this was a club piece, so it hadn't been released. Um, but I also love this. I think that's beautiful. Um, and Amelia's favourite, because I asked her what her favourite was. I think it was this one, wasn't yes. it? Yep. Is this one, which I agree is really beautiful. And there's another one I really like in here, which is this one. So um, there's 12 different projects in here. Um, and I'm pretty excited to stitch just about all of them. Can't wait. So that was a good uh, goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, <laughs> Oh, I know. No, no, we're not finished. Okay, what's next? A no, I don't know how to say that word. Norfolk sampler. So this is Alice Sarah Dennis by Mill on the Floss Samplers. Um, this is a pattern that probably every time I go to the Cruel Gobelin, I pick it up. And, and I always say no. Oh, um, no, should I buy it, should I buy it? And it never quite made it. But last time we went there, it was 50% off. So I had to get it because um, it was on sale. So I got it. Um, I only got the pattern. I didn't get the fabrics, uh, the threads, um, because... You can, it's actually um, listed for a Verisois silk, um, but it does have a DMC conversion. Now, I've never used silk before, and this year I'm thinking maybe I'd like to try it. Um, so I didn't get the threads because I just thought, well, I'll, I'll have a think about it, and if I do decide, maybe this will be one that I'll stitch in silk. Who knows? Um, but it is a pattern I've loved for a long time, and I quite like the verse. Um, Can I read it? Yes, but you've got to read it nice and loud. It is education forms the tender mind. Just as the twig is bent, the trees is inclined. For what we learn in youth to alone, in age we are by second nature prone. Yeah. Was that loud enough? That was great. Good reading. Um, I'm always good reading. <laughs> And then Amelia and I were looking at these and we we're trying to figure out what they are. Are they butterflies or are they funky grasshopper butterflies or... Are they just something? Yeah, <laughs> I think they are meant to be butterflies, but um, this part kind of looks, reminds me of a grasshopper. And I thought that this was a fox down here, but it says in the pattern that it's a dog. Um, but to my mind, it's a fox and I love foxes, so I'm just going to pretend it's a fox and Amelia really liked the pink people <laughs> no I didn't like the pink people they are creepy oh, so I know they are Adam and Eve but Adam and Eve at least had some weird type of tissue type of thing they had leaves same thing they still <laughs> tissues they can still use them to blow their noses so um yeah it's got some gorgeous colors in it um so yeah I was really excited 50% off so Good thing I waited. Okay, so what fabric is this? I've got another piece of fabric. It's called Weeks. <laughs> it's by Weeks. No, it's called Weeks. No, it's not. It's called... Onion. Linen. <laughs> oh my goodness. Onion. Weeks Linen. It's called... And I got a quarter I mean, yard and it's... I was say, it's 36 count. Very good. So a much lighter, almost... You know, white-ish kind of. Um, no, white-ish is cream. It's sort of a cream color. whipped cream, even though whipped, whipped cream, cream is there white. You go. Right. Um, I just wanted, you know, I do have a lot of the darker sort of browns and 
um, greys and stuff so I just wanted to get a couple of pieces of linen that were a bit lighter so that's why I got the two that I got then I had put in an order before Christmas um, at Sassy Jack's <gasps> Sassy. yeah um, they also had a sale on um, here I'll do it and you can get the next ones ready um, now I don't know whether it was on all charts or just hands across the sea um, and then if you listen to Fiber Talk, you got an extra 10% off. So I put in an order and got these three charts um, from Hands Across the Sea. I think it was just Hands Across the Sea that were on sale. Um, and of course, they're probably my favourite designer at the moment. So here's the first one except, I got. Except they are not Jane. No, they're not Jane. So what's this one? Who's this one, Amelia? Who is this one? This is Mary Clayton. Mary Clayton. I've loved this one. I don't think it'll take too long to stitch up. Um, How do they know what they look like? Because they've purchased them from an antique no, shop. No, like oh, no, 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 no. That's just, it's not them. It's just a random old fashioned looking picture that they've put on there. Um, and I think I'm going to stitch her on the same fabric as I'm doing Kitty Biggs, which is the 40 count Confederate grey. Yeah, but that colour. Pardon? That colour. What about it? It looks like that thing, sort of. Oh, well, we'll have a look. I've got the DMC threads for this. Um, so, yeah, Mary Clayton, what else did I get? Or who else did I get, I should say? Anne Roberts. Anne Roberts. This one, when it came out, I, I kind of went, oh yeah, whatever, wasn't that interested. And then over time, the more and more I looked at it, the more I thought, that's, that's really cool. Um, I love the border, this huge big pattern around the border. Um, this big sort of farmhouse, I guess, here, and big church, and then this tiny little house here, which I guess is supposed to be in the distance. And there's a massive sheep and then these little sheep, little people, like just the, the different sizes are really cool. And then some of these motifs, I, I don't quite know what they are meant to be. Um, but there's a boat over here, which is cool. Um, so it's really interesting. I haven't read through any of the information that Nicola's put in here, but um, I can't wait to stitch this one. Oh, and then this one too. What's this one? Francis Grassby. I don't know. Who Grassby, I think. Again, um, this is a really cute sampler. Um, I like the animals and the little house is just really, um, I don't know, it's what cute. This thing? Oh, it's a bookmark. Oh. Um, and I don't think that this one will take too long to stitch because, you know, a large portion of it is just letters. Although this is, I guess, full coverage down the bottom here. Um, but yeah, I think that's a really sweet little little sampler. So, yeah. Okay, I think that's it. Amelia um, doesn't have anything to show us this month, but maybe oh, next yeah. month um, she will. We had started a puzzle. We did start a puzzle. Do you want to say what the puzzle is a picture of? The Lady and the Unicorn yeah. Tapestry. So we went in Sydney, the, they had an exhibition a few years ago um, where they brought out all the tapestries of the Lady and the Unicorn. And um, we went to the exhibition, it was fantastic. And so we brought a puzzle and we've never done the puzzle. So Amelia and I started working on the jigsaw puzzle last weekend, didn't we? Yes. So we might do some more of that today. Just gonna do a little bit each weekend. Um, and maybe in a few months we'll have a puzzle to show you guys. On um, photo. Yeah. Um, okay, I think that's all we've got for you today. So thank you for watching. Um, please subscribe. Please tell other people about our channel. And um, we'll hope to, or we look forward to seeing you again at the end of February. And hopefully we'll have a few more finishes for you then. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.